Welcome, friends, to the very first time I have ever tried a Hot Tone product. I am very pleased this week to bring you a What Works and What Doesn't review on this, the Hot Tone Ampero Mini. Once again, I have you guys to thank for the fact I am now sat here playing through this thing. For many months, you have been requesting that I try a Hot Tone product on this channel. And when I saw recently that they had just launched this bad boy for what seemed like a very generous price point, I just had to check it out. I am always enticed by a guitar product that appears to offer value for money. In these kind of cost conscious days, anything that can offer a lot for not a lot, I'm always going to be interested in covering that on the channel. And this Hot Tone Ampero Mini is a prime example of that. As you are about to see in this video, the fact that this thing is, at the time of making this video, only costing about 200 quid is absolutely unbelievable in my opinion, considering what it can do. This is an extremely compact touchscreen modeling unit. This Hot Tone Ampero Mini is the smallest and cheapest modeler that they currently offer. This is in a very small pedal form factor. You have a four inch touchscreen that is full color, very bright and a decent resolution. This comes in an all aluminium chassis with metal foot switches, so it should be able to stand up to uh, being on the floor and being stomped on regularly. In terms of I.O., things are, as to be expected, you know, fairly basic, but certainly not lacking anything you could need. I'm pleased to say that the 9-volt power supply is included with this thing, not always a given at this price point. You have a USB-C, a phone's out, an aux in, a guitar input, an expression pedal input, and one single TS output. So this is a single mono output, but it can be split into stereo with a Y-splitter cable and you can set up the left and right outputs of this thing to be different. So you could have on one side just a kind of dry DI guitar, and on the right side you could have your fully modeled signal, which is really cool, especially at this price point. <laughs> Now, Hot Tone's website will tell you that this thing has over 50 amp models built in. It has over 200 built-in effects. You know, there's making really big, bold claims for something only costing 200 quid. But look, let's answer the most important question first. Does this thing sound any good? <laughs> Whilst the overall tones in this thing are not gonna be troubling any of your premium end modeling devices like called Cortexes, Kempers, Axe Effects, you know, all that sort of thing, I have to say, for 200 quid, 
I am absolutely staggered at how good this thing can sound with just a bit of tweaking and the right impulse responses. The built-in cabinet simulations are, they're okay, um, but honestly you are not going to be getting the best out of this unit by just using them. With the clean tones they're perfectly serviceable, but once you start getting into high gain territory, the built-in impulse responses are just a little bit too boxy and tinny sounding. For a prime example, here is me playing the 5150 amp model in this with the built-in impulse response and then with my own preferred custom IR, which is one of the Catharsis impulse responses. Now, I can completely forgive that shortcoming at this price point. Like I said, this thing is only 200 quid. Now, the biggest thing that's working for me about this is, man, this thing sounds fantastic for 200 quid. And moreover, the selection of amplifiers in here really surprised me. I was just expecting, as with most budget modeling devices, your straightforward Mesa Boogie stuff, Fender Twin, you know, kind of just your straightforward basic selection. But there is some really um, unique and quite rare to find amp models in this. You have Bad Cat amplifiers, you have matchless stuff. There is Friedman amp models, Bogner amp models. There's Mesa JP2C, Engel stuff. There's an Engel Savage. Like there's an incredible selection of amp models in this thing for the price. And I really don't think anyone is gonna be unhappy whether they are a high gain player, a rock player, a jazz player. They all sound great. Um, so that just really works for me. Second of all, the built-in effects selection is far beyond what you could reasonably expect for a 200 quid modeling unit. There's a good selection of reverbs and delays and you can get some nice ambient sounds. There's a nice shimmer pedal in there. But there's also stuff you just wouldn't expect to see at this price point. So there is really nice sounding acoustic simulators, which is what I've used on my patch that intros this video. They sound great. Um, there is built-in drums for practicing with a surprisingly large array of drum tracks that are customizable. Um, loads of different time signatures, BPMs. They sound actually really quite good. There's a ton of different tremolo effects, ring modulation, there's like reverse delays. There's a surprising number of customizable parameters. You know, I was really surprised to see that with the built-in cabinet simulations on this thing, you have a customizable microphone position, not just on off axis, but there's a free adjust in the desktop software. The desktop software is quite simple, but equally very intuitive and easy to use. And I'm really pleased to see that despite the fact this thing is very small, Everything in terms of functionality is usable from the touchscreen itself. So you don't have to use the desktop editor to unlock the full potential of this thing. The only thing you may be forced to use that desktop software for is to load in your own impulse responses. I did have a little bit of an issue, first of all, getting my own impulse responses on this thing because it needs them in a very specific file format, which is 24 bit, 44 kilohertz, so I did have to convert my impulse responses and um, for those of you who want to use my go-to, which is just one of the old Catharsis impulse responses, I have included a download link for the converted version of the impulse response that works on this thing. So if you want to grab my IR that I've used for my high gain stuff in this video, just go to the video description, that's there for you as a free download, help yourself. 
So this thing is very cheap, well built, the interface is good, it sounds far better than it has any right to at this price point. The effect selection is really surprisingly good. The amp selection is really surprisingly good. Um, so you might be asking, well, what doesn't work? I mean, I am struggling to find much to moan about, really. This is 200 quid. Like, what more could you possibly want? The only things I can say that go against this unit are a couple of things. Number one, the built-in tuner. It's very, very coarse, so it doesn't give you very precise, granular, like, how many cents are you off kind of thing, you know, like, it's um, accurate, but you're not going to be able to do very, very fine tuning and intonation work on this tuner just because it is quite rough. It will get you there, don't get me wrong, it's usable, um, but I did notice that when notes were just a couple of cents off, which I sort of have this weird thing of like, if it's even a tiny bit out, it really annoys me. Um, it was telling me I was in tune when I was just a tiny bit off. So just something to bear in mind there. Um, second of all, fantastic that this thing has a touchscreen, but just the size of the touchscreen and the size of the icons in there, this thing is quite fiddly to use. Like if you've got sausage fingers, you're gonna probably struggle with this thing, so I don't know. That's just probably a trade-off for the fact that you're getting this in such a small um, package. So those are really the only things I can identify that don't work about this product. I'm even really impressed with uh, the form factor and the build quality. This thing feels solid. It looks elegant. The user interface is also quite elegant. It's very straightforward. There's no garishness. There's no like unnecessary faff or anything like that. Sort of 18 to 20 months ago, I reviewed the Boss Pocket GT on this channel and I was really impressed. I really liked the way it sounded. I thought it was awesome what it was giving you for the money. But the kind of downsides and the sort of negatives I identify with that product are sort of all fixed with this thing. I mean, yes, this thing won't quite fit in your pocket as small as it is, so it's kind of a different product, but the price point this is at, the price point the Boss Pocket GT was at, like they're very, very similar. The Boss Pocket GT was like 150. This is like, the cheapest I've seen this unit is about 188 pounds at the moment. And so I think if you just have a couple of hundred quid to spend on a kind of home practice unit, you know, like a nice mobile, modeler that can either sit on your pedal board or just sit on a desk at home for sort of practicing. Um, I'm so impressed with this thing. I really feel like perhaps I've been sleeping a little bit on Hot Tone products and clearly you guys have been telling me to try a Hot Tone product probably for this reason. Like I said, this isn't going to replace thousand pound modeling devices, but for 200 quid, wow, are you getting a lot for your money. I am so impressed with this thing. I am absolutely going to be trying more Hot Tone products. In fact, I would really like to try their current flagship, which is the Stage, and see what you can do that you can't do with this thing. This thing has nine effects blocks and the signal chain is customizable, so you can change the order of things and place effects where you want, uh, but there isn't anything beyond that. There's no stereo, there's no wet dry, there's no splitting signals or anything like that. So I'd be really interested if that's something that Hot Tone can offer further up the range. So there we have it. That is the Hot Tone Ampero Mini. Consider me thoroughly impressed for what this can offer for 200 quid. I think this is outrageous value for money and compare this to budget modeling devices from just 10 years ago. Like Christ, this is like something from the future. What Hot Tone products would you like to see on the channel? Because I'm absolutely going to get in touch with them and I'm going to see if they will hook me up with something further up the range. Do let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you are a Hot Tone user, tell me what your experiences have been. I really think this thing sounds great and delivers awesome value for money. So let me know what your experience has been. If you've gotten this far in the video, please do hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps me with growing the channel and producing new content. 
Better yet, you can support me via the Buy Me A Coffee link in the video description below. Any and all financial support is greatly appreciated and it all goes straight back into the channel. Until the next chilled review, do take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon.